From suicidal lemmings to lazy lions, here are 17 of the most bizarre myths about animals. 17. Toads give you warts. No scientific proof has ever been offered for this myth, but it has seemed to endure throughout the ages. Toads do exhibit lumps on the bodies, which are sometimes called warts, but they're really glands. The protrusions are useful in helping the amphibian blend into its environment, and they also aid in the critter's survival in drier climates. But chances are the myth simply grew as a result of the creature's lumpy appearance. What do you think? 16. Turkeys will drown standing up. Did you know that at one time, Benjamin Franklin himself suggested that the turkey be the national bird of the United States? Maybe not the best choice, given they are not exactly known for being the brightest of the bird bunch. In fact, they are said to stand and gape up at the sky while it's raining, causing them to actually drown while standing up. But this has not proven to be the case. While the awkward birds are known to occasionally stare up at the sky, they are not known to actually drown in the rain. Experts say the standing and looking at the sky is the result of a genetic condition, which causes the birds to exhibit various abnormal behaviors. 15. Head first. The confusion on this one might stem from the fact that ostriches really do bring the heads close to the ground. But it's not so they can bury their heads in sand because, well, they'd only suffocate, right? Ostriches will stick their heads in the sand to swallow pebbles and sand, which actually helps aid in their digestion. More often than not, though, when these creatures feel threatened, they will simply run away. 14. Seeing red. Now we're all familiar with the sight of a matador holding a small red cape as he provokes a bull into charging him. Now more often than not, we have bought into the misconception that the bull is angered by the cape's color. But the color red does not really upset the big beasts any more than any other color would because they are in fact colorblind. It's the size and motion of the cape that actually gets their attention. The cape is actually thought to be colored red as a way to mask the animal's blood. 13. Boiled alive. Have you heard this metaphor meant to imply that you are simply one of the mindless masses? It goes, if you place a frog in a pan of water and you slowly turn up the heat, the amphibian will not notice the temperature steadily increasing. In fact, the animal will never realize that it is being steadily cooked alive. But according to research by zoologist Dr. Victor Hutchison, this story of frogs in hot water turns out to be all wet. It turns out the creatures will always attempt to hop out of danger when temperatures become unbearable, and that implies that no matter how long it takes to acclimate the frog, there is always a point where enough is enough. 12. Killer whales are whales. Well, the huge beasts are given that designation, and with adult males growing to some 26 feet long and weighing in at nearly 7 tons, there's a good case to be made for calling them that. But they actually belong to the dolphin family. Despite that fearsome look and reputation, the killer whale, or orca, is related to the friendly dolphin. And not surprisingly, orcas are the largest member of that family. 11. Blood in the water. Have you ever heard that the big fearsome shark can smell blood from miles away. Well, it is true that the big fish have keenly developed olfactory senses, so much so that some species can detect minute amounts of blood in seawater. Experts say it works out to around one part per million of blood in the water. Still, it's estimated that sharks can smell blood from a distance of around 200 yards or a couple of American football fields, which goes about 200 yards. They can't necessarily smell for miles. And to smell for some 200 yards, it would have to be an ideal day with favorable Currents. 10. Super Sharks And while we are on the subject of sharks, here's another myth we can dispel, that sharks do not get cancer. That story became popular a few years back, but there's no scientific research to back up that claim, nor that they are immune to any type of disease. In fact, researchers have found several cases of cancerous tumors in great white and other shark species. Some sources suggest the story came about as a way to promote shark cartilage as a cancer treatment, but there's no research to validate that claim either. 9. Blind as a bat. So if anyone ever says that you are blind as a bat, cheer up, because that statement 
is simply not true. While many microbat species have unremarkable visual acuity, no species is actually blind. The eyes tend to be small and underdeveloped, but they can see to varying degrees. In fact, they can use the eyes in conjunction with the sonar or echolocation to navigate greater distances. Now, megabat species like the flying fox can have eyesight on par with humans and sometimes even better. 8. Lazy Lions Among these big cats, it seems that it is the lionesses who actually do the lion's share of the work. When it comes to catching prey, the females are said to be the avid hunters, while the male lion lies around waiting to eat the spoils of his mate's efforts. Well, he is the king of the jungle after all, but it turns out that the males are not quite so retiring as we have been led to believe. Some experts think the myth may have grown about when safari goers saw the lions during the daytime when the males and females normally rest. When the adults go out hunting after nightfall, though, the females will hunt prey on the open savanna. Meanwhile, the males will lie in wait in the underbrush and ambush prey when it ventures too close. So the king really does pitch in with catching food for the pride. He's just something of a wolverine-style loner. 7. Dangerous Dogs Now, there have been plenty of stories involving pit bulls attacking humans, and it has given rise to the notion that these animals constitute an inherently violent and aggressive breed of dog. But a variety of research organizations, including the Centers for Disease Control, have come to a sometimes controversial conclusion that controlled studies reveal that pit bulls are not disproportionately dangerous. In fact, studies found that dog breed itself is an unreliable indicator of whether or not the animal is likely to bite or to attack. Another misconception about pit bulls is that they have locking jaws. Now, there is no such physiological mechanism found in pit bulls or any other dog. But they, along with other terriers, can show a behavior involving biting, holding, and shaking, and will sometimes refuse to release. 6. Black Panther Mystery now, These days, when you mention the Black Panther, you might first think of the superhero in the Marvel Comics books and movies. But there has been an understandable misunderstanding about the critter, namely that it is a separate species of big cat. But it's really a variant of two well-known creatures. What is referred to as a Black Panther is actually a melanistic leopard in Africa or a melanistic jaguar in the Americas. Melanism is a condition that causes an overabundance of melanin or dark pigment to develop and results in a sleek look. If you look closely at these animals, though, you can often detect the spots and markings of their particular species. 5. One Shade of Grey We've always been told that dogs and many other animals cannot perceive color. They can only see in black and white. But according to recent studies, scientists say that the canines can actually see certain colors, although not as brightly as we do. Tests indicate that dogs can perceive shades of blue and yellow along with gray. It's a result of the animals having about a fifth of the cone photoreceptor cells in the eyes that we have. That's the part of the eye that governs color reception and means our best friends cannot perceive a range of colors from green to red. Did you know that dogs are thought to have about 40% of the visual acuity that humans do, but they make up for that by seeing better in dim light and more easily detecting motion than humans can? 4. Out of Africa HIV, or the human immunodeficiency virus, has sometimes been claimed to have its origins with the interactions between humans and monkeys. Now, this turns out to be false, however. There are two types of HIV, and both are thought to have originated in West Central Africa among non-human primates. Around 1910, the virus is believed to have jumped from the primates and transferred to humans. Experts found a strain of SIV, or simian immunodeficiency virus, that infects chimpanzees. Based on that strain's genetic similarity to HIV, the virus may have been acquired by human hunters in the bushmeat trade. Blood-to-blood -blood contact could have been made via a cut or open wound on the hunter, resulting in an undetected infection. 3. Swimming with sharks Now, you've heard that sharks must keep swimming in order to survive. And you know what? 
That is largely true. But while all sharks must have water pushing over the gills in order to breathe, not all species must remain in motion to achieve this. Nurse sharks, which are bottom dwellers, can obtain their oxygen from water by pumping it over the gills without the need to swim. Now, one thing that will happen if any shark stops swimming is they will drift to the bottom, and that's because they lack the gas-filled bladders found in bony fish to maintain the buoyancy. 2. If all your friends jumped off a cliff, would you do the same thing? Well, maybe your parents said something along those lines when giving you a comeuppance. It's rather like a Zen koan, which implies you'll do anything your friends do. Well, this ties in with lemmings because they have often been misrepresented as participating in a type of mass suicide, where one follows another as they jump off a cliff. Lemmings are little furry rodents that, in fact, are known to gather in groups as they migrate. And in some cases, the misconception is fueled in great part by a 1958 nature documentary from Disney called White Wilderness. It depicted lemmings falling into the sea ostensibly to kill themselves, but that footage was later proven to have been staged. One, dog years. We all know that for dogs, one of our years equals seven of theirs, right? Well, actually, that's wrong. It's a very inaccurate measurement given how many different breeds there are. It's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. There are a lot of variations to take into account when measuring a dog's age, not the least of which is the animal size. Smaller dogs live longer than do large dogs, for example, but they mature more quickly. So that would have to be factored into the equation as well. Now, a very rough and generalized approximation suggests that the equivalent of one of our human years would represent an age between 10 and 15 years for a canine. Because at one year, a dog or cat has mostly attained its full growth and has become sexually mature. The second year is equivalent to three to eight human years as the animal continues maturing mentally and physically. And each year after that is thought to coincide with around four to five human years. So far, however, there is not a particular formula for converting dog to human age that is scientifically agreed upon. 